Hi guys, it is a chilly, wind-blasted day here in the party capital of the planet, South Austin, Texas. We have somehow survived as a city and a planet till Sunday, March 16th, 2014. Good Lord, guys, I have been partying 12 hours a day, every day for four days, and I need to be out partying again, but, uh... Anyway, before I try to get it together, I'm on my second cup of coffee trying to get it together to party. But before I go, take my peek into the end time, see how the rest of the planet, what they've been up to while I've been partying while the planet burns. Now, this is not South Austin, Texas, guys. This is a look at that. Uh, this is the building not in San Francisco. This is the one in New York City. I guess, this multi-story building where they had some sort of explosion. I don't know how many people it killed even. But this is what a building looks like when it collapses. When you have a multi-story building and some sort of violent explosion high up in a multi-story building, this is what it looks like later. The buildings do not fall straight down uh, into their footprint at free fall speed. I'm just trying to teach people who do not understand uh, that 9-11 was an inside job. Here is just more evidence to that. But anyway, that is ancient history, although it's going to be future uh, history as well. But I'm not even going to bother with the uh, alternative media today. We're going to jump right into today's mainstream media. I just started down the list and saw it with such a rich treasure trove of end times headlines. And I poured myself a second cup of coffee to share them with you. Right off the top, we have Ham on Little Tail agreeing with John McCain. John McCain, quote, Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country, close quote. Good for you, John McCain. I agree with every single word in that sentence. Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. Now, of course, I would also agree with the uh, statement, the United States of America is a gas station masquerading as a country, and let us not forget, uh, with each passing day, well, I would say planet Earth is a planet masquerading, I mean, I'm sorry, planet Earth is a gas station masquerading as a planet, as this entire planet has been turned into one giant gas station. That's what we are. We are a floating ball of gas stations. And I could probably end my rant right here cheering on John McCain, who at least gets it that Russia is a gas station masquerading as a country. Now he needs to take a look at his own country and his own planet. Okay, from John McCain's, the wit and wisdom of John McCain, to the California drought. Yeah, some California cities seek water independence. Here, starting off with this woman setting up a, a rain uh, catchment system at her house, which is a great thing. We have them here. Uh, rain catchment systems work damn well when it rains. Okay, from California to China. Anybody who does not understand how this headline right here, with no other headline, uh, means the death of a planet. Uh, I will read it to you. China plans investment and reform to ease urbanization drive. 
China is planning a major expansion of its transport networks and urban infrastructure as it seeks to increase migration from rural areas to urban areas. The aim of this, lifting incomes and demand to drive continued economic growth. There you go. Thank you, Reuters News, for anybody who does not understand probably uh, the single most important peak into the end times here on this Sunday morning. Let the mainstream media spell it out for you. You need to learn how to read these stories with an eye to the collapse of a planet. And we don't really need to leave China to, to find this, but let's go on here. Let's down here, go down here to South Africa, which is just a miniature China. Okay, again, Reuters news. Coal, gas, or nuclear. Power-hungry South Africa must decide now. Once again, just like the John McCain quote, that is a true headline. We just need to change it. Coal, gas, or nuclear, power-hungry planet Earth must decide now. It makes no decision which of those three decisions this planet makes. Whether we choose coal, gas, or nuclear, we are going to destroy the planet, drive human beings into extinction, and every other earthling we share this planet with. It makes no difference if those are the three choices on the table. The choice is one billion people or ten billion people. It is not coal, gas, or nuclear. Okay, as long as we're uh, over there in Africa, let's go up there to the African Alps. If you didn't realize it, there really are snow-capped mountains in sub-Saharan Africa. Although for not much longer, from AFP News, vanishing ice warning for Africa's Alps. There you go. Uh, we are the last, this is some uh, climatologist, quote, quote, we are the last few who will climb on this ice. It is going so fast. It will not be long before Africa is an ice-free continent. And as goes the ice, so goes the rest of the continent. From Africa over there to Europe. Europe to find it difficult to wean itself off Russian gas. Yeah, do you think so? Europe will have trouble weaning itself off Russian natural gas and, let's say, as it faces declining production at home and Asian competition for gas supplies. Asian competition for gas supplies and oil supplies and coal supplies and timber supplies and gold supplies and uranium supplies. Uh, I, I think I've made my point. Asian competition for supplies. Anybody who does not understand how the end times are rolling out in the mainstream media on a Sunday morning while I am getting ready, while your old doomsday prophet is getting ready to go party for another day, 
Okay, from Europe to Venezuela. Venezuela's president gives ultimatum to Caracas protesters. Okay. They are facing eviction by security forces. There you go, those protesters. All right, the security forces being called out. Okay, here's one. I'm going to be talking about this in my Tuesday wacko conspiracy theory rant. Planet X myth debunked. It was an elusive planet for more that for 200 years appeared to explain Uranus's wobbly orbit. And there was that sister sun theorized to be near our solar system. Blah, blah, blah. There is just one problem. Planet X never existed. Thank you, mainstream media. I'll have more to say about this one on Tuesday. Okay, from the mythical planet X. Let's go over there to the southeast U.S., where we see the fight to save southeast hemlock trees takes a new tack. All right, so what we're doing is we're fighting invasive species by introducing more invasive species. How many times have we been down this slippery slope? Okay, a beetle the size of a single grain of rice is the latest best hope for hemlocks in the southeast that have been felled by the millions by an invasive bug. There you go. Fight invasive bugs with invasive bugs. Guys, and, and, and it's hard to skip over uh, headlines today. Who needs the alternative press? Let's go from that kind of insect to the Federal Reserve, where we see Fed's balance sheet reaches $4 trillion at the end of 2013. The Federal Reserve said Friday its balance sheet swelled to $4 trillion at the end of 2013 as it made massive asset purchases to support the U.S. economy. Four trillion dollars, guys. I don't know. What are there? There's 320 million Americans. Do the math. The last time uh, someone did the math, it was $56,000 that every man, woman, and child in the United States of America owed on uh, its credit card. There you go. Uh, moving along, I'll talk about this more in my economic meltdown rant tomorrow. Let's go from the Federal Reserve to uh, the U.S. Midwest. Wind power line proposal irks some Midwest farmers. The windy plains of Kansas could be a treasure trove in the nation's effort to harness clean energy, but a major proposal to move wind-generated electricity eastward is running into a roadblock. Farmers who don't want high-powered transmission lines on their land. And you, you got to remember, guys, the people just conveniently forget that once these these windmills out there on the windy plains uh, all over the American West harness all of this clean energy, it has to be shipped off to, uh, to the cities east. And how do you think it gets there? It gets there through all these goddamn planet-eating power lines. Okay, from planet-eating power lines to planet-eating 
oil trains. Let's go down there to Alabama, to a swamp in Alabama. Oil, Mars, Alabama swamp, months after crude train crash. Environmental regulators promised an aggressive cleanup after a tanker train hauling 2.9 million gallons of crude oil derailed and burned in a West Alabama swamp in early November amid a string of North American oil train crashes. Well, uh, you can take a wild guess. Uh, checking in with the aggressive cleanup in this wetland, this sensitive wetland, what is what a swamp is, are the most environmentally critical wetlands in the United States. Let me tell you, you cannot clean 2.9 million gallons of crude oil out of a wetland. Okay, uh, then from there to Sudan, where we find the governor in Sudan's Darfur survives ambush. There you go. Good for, good for that guy. Uh, at least he got out alive. Jesus. Uh, let's see... What is going on with down there in Brazil as they prepare for the World Cup? When is the World Cup? Is that going to be next year? All right, this is the latest headline. Brazil's World Cup, anger over waste and poor planning. Pedestrians tiptoe across a road scarred with deep puddles piles of gravel, and a detour sign as black, oily slush leaves no room for missteps or steering mistakes. Talk about a misstep and a steering mistake is this whole goddamn World Cup soccer game. Jesus. Back to the Federal Reserve. Here we go. New Fed Chair Yellen expected to stick to taper path. It doesn't matter which way that uh, that bitch goes. Uh, she is. It, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the Federal Reserve is going to self-destruct. It doesn't matter which which tack they take to self-destruction. It's not. It's not a matter of if. It's only a matter of how and when. All right, we have some more developing good news from the marijuana front in the end times. One of the few rays of hopes in the end times out of the state of Kentucky. I, I thought Kentucky would be one of the last uh, states that I would read this uh, encouraging headline. Kentucky Senate approves bill allowing medical marijuana. Wana oil. There you go. Uh, an unprecedented, unanimous vote in Kentucky that has marijuana activists thrilled. Hallelujah! We had our Texas Republican Governor Rick Perry coming out at least for decriminalization of pot in Texas. Now we have the Kentucky Senate talking about that band uh, of left-wing radical uh, progressive Democrats. Yeah, right. Uh, saying bring on the medical marijuana oil. Okay, anyway, from uh, marijuana oil in Kentucky, from that good news, I'm sure we're going to jump into some uh, bad news here as we, good Lord, I'm already 20 minutes into this. Uh, all right. Here we go. I don't know if you can see this picture of this machete-wielding uh, whatever he is. 
uh, the UN calling for quick decision on force in Central African Republic. All right, the UN chief, he wants a quick decision uh, on the deployment of 12,000, 12,000 international peace keepers, otherwise known as war makers, to the conflict-ravaged Central African Republic. Wasn't they calling for 3,000 people? Uh, now 12,000. Uh, okay, from Sub-Saharan Africa to Syria, where we see malnutrition grows among Syrian refugee children. All right. Trapped in her northern Syrian village by fighting, Mervat watched her newborn baby progressively shrink. Her daughter's dark eyes seemed to grow bigger as her face grew more skeletal. And it goes on from there. I guess Mervat should have thought about this before she decided to have the little, uh, the little skeletal, dark-eyed, starving darling to waste away in the end times. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, from there to Iran. Okay. Iran says sabotage prevented at nuclear facility. Well, this time anyway. Yeah, uh, this time uh, sabotage was... It, it, I, I need to do a whole new rant about sabotage at nuclear facilities. Anyone uh, believing some uh, horseshit recent report about a plunge in U.S. preschool obesity. Not so fast, experts say. If the news sounded too good to be true, that's because it probably was. There you go. Man, I'm already 22 and a half minutes in this. Uh... After Ashes Found, Daughter asks, Who did I bury? From there, Woman Finds Huge Silverfish Bug in Soup Served in New York Restaurant. Jesus. Uh, well, anyway, here is AP's top stories for yesterday. Okay, this is Associated Press's top Four stories. We have the Malaysian airplane crash, the number one story in AP yesterday. Number two, uh, the story on uh, developments in Ukraine. Number three, huge anti-government protest in Moscow. There was a pro-government celebration in Moscow followed by an anti-government protest. And the fourth most important story on planet Earth, uh, according to AP readers, newborn gorilla recovering after surgery at California Zoo. There you go. Uh... Anyway, good Lord, I got, what do I got, five minutes here to, uh, to finish our romp through the uh, end times, and I had better go charging ahead to see if there's any that I just cannot miss. I could, uh, and, I, and I'm skipping over a shitload of them here, guys. All right, uh, here's U.S. delivers Hellfire missiles and ammunition to Iraq. There you go. Haven't we been through that movie before? Jesus, Hellfire missiles. 
Okay, what else? Uh, anyway, I'm just seeing if there's... Uh, okay, I'll be talking about this one tomorrow in my economic meltdown. Reuters News, Beyond the Hype, Keystone would yield few permanent jobs. In the heated debate over whether to build the Keystone XL pipeline, the energy industry and lawmakers in their pockets, I, I'm, I put those three words in, in their pockets, for those of you who don't understand, have predicted that the project could unleash an economic bonanza in the Midwest and provide jobs up for up to half a million people. Well, even the mainstream media blowing the whistle on that unadulterated horse shit. I'll talk about that more tomorrow, that unadulterated horse shit. Uh, okay, anyway guys, I need to wrap it up. Uh, I need to... Uh, Decide whether I have the energy for four days of partying or to bring you my Sunday Doomsday Sermon uh, by Jared Diamond Part 2. I'll figure that out while I'm brushing my teeth. So for this rant, for Sunday, March 16th, 2014, mainstream media romp through the end times. There's plenty for you to chew on. Bye, guys.